Welcome to Chris Linford Get Going Guides. Uh, this episode we're going to be looking at controlling text through a whole site using style sheets. Now when we've put text in before we could use a CSS box or a table box. doesn't really matter which one we're using for this purpose. And we just click inside and we put some basic text in. Now when we want to change it we have to highlight the text and then go to here in the inspector and change it all the way through. And that can be very laborious. So especially when you've got hundreds of pages to do and lots of different text and then if you change your mind uh, you have to change every page at the same time. So what we're going to do is we're going to set up some style sheets which we can then just apply to the text when we want. So if we go to the window and down to style and colors uh, we've got some standard colors that we choose but we're looking at the text and you can just choose to make a new style and then up comes this and we just give it some instructions here so we want to specify the font so we call give it Helvetica we then add a new one for size and we give it 12 point so we just click there or we can choose it there and then we can go down to uh, the color and we want uh, want to keep it in black and we can look at what the CSS attributes is of the text uh, or we could apply graphic items to it as well so if there's graphic elements uh, you can then add special effects for images and stuff so you can have style sheets for images and text so we're looking at the CSS for the text now you can click whether you want it permanent, which means it can apply to the whole website, or whether you want it to be uh, temporary, which means it will only apply to one page. And so what we do is we will give this a name, and we're going to call this body text, and then click OK. Now if we add another one, because we want to make another one for the header, so we'll give it a title first, and then we will choose the font. So we want the same Helvetica. We want it to be bold uh, and we want it to uh, size. We want it to be 36 point and we want to choose a color for it and we're going to choose a new color same as we've done before and do that. So I've just put all this specification there and then click OK. And you can see in the style window they've all appeared there. Now I can get rid of that but I could apply it from there. Now what all we need to do now is on your text highlight the text you want it to apply and then in the inspector you can just click on it on the T on the window where, and where it says text you can just go down and select the way the text is and it will appear here what it is. If you want to remove it you just click the minus and it will go back but we'll put it back. Now if we want to do the headline and then go down to headline and it will automatically change and these will change for every page uh, will stay the same for every page you have on your site. So if we preview it up it comes and then you can see the text uh, is all in place there. But if we want to make changes to the text we can just go to the style window again and we're going to change the body text. So you just click on the one you want to change and then go to edit and that's the one we're going to change. And we're going to change the uh, font to be times for the body text. So we just go OK and it's automatically changed the type throughout the whole site. Any piece of type that's using that style sheet has been changed. So now if we view the it in Firefox, it's now in Times. So it's very easy to keep control of all your type. You just need to set up your style sheets first and then apply them throughout your whole site. So visit me on www.chrislinfordco.uk uh, or you can find me on iTunes or YouTube.